I'm Dave Smith. I'm here at the NAMM show, regrettably. Uh, no, I don't take that back. Uh, we have a new product here. It's called the Pro 3. It comes in two versions. We have the special edition and we have the regular version. Um, and it's a really cool synth. Uh, most of you know we started with the Pro 1 way back in the early 80s. Uh, that was a very popular synth. Uh, it's been used on a lot of recordings back then. People still use it. People still love it. It was a great synth. Uh, with Dave Smith Instruments, uh, a few years ago, we came up with the Pro 2. And it's, it's not like a Pro 1. It's just, it was a mono synth that had four point, uh, four part uh, paraphonic playable and had a bunch of neat stuff in it, a sequencer and all that. So now we have the Pro 3. Uh, a lot of people, the first impression is, well, it's, it just looks kind of like a Pro 2, uh, but that's not it. It's a different instrument. Uh, of course, there's some things are comparable, but it's like saying, uh, is, is a Prophet 6 the same as an OB6? Of course not. They have completely different sounds and personalities, so that's kind of the difference between the Pro 2 and the Pro 3. Uh, We've got two VCOs and we have a wavetable oscillator that has 32 sets of 16 wavetables that you could sweep through. We actually have three filters. We have the P6 filter, we have a classic ladder filter, and we have the OB6 filter. So with a single push button, you can select between the three. And there's really no other synth like that. It's kind of like the last mono synth you need because it covers a lot of sonic territory. Uh, we've got this the awesome sequencer, I could spend a lot of time going through all those details, but just know that it's a 16-track sequencer. It's really deep and incredibly fast and easy to use. Uh, that's kind of it. Uh, the, we're shipping the uh, standard version uh, in, within a week or two. We'll be shipping this guy in about uh, probably mid-February. So they're both just about ready. We've got a bunch of them here at NAMM that people are playing with. So that's kind of it. Uh, I could play a few sounds just for fun and turn some knobs. Uh, starting with one that's always a favorite because that's kind of fun. It just that's actually a wave table that's being swept. So the 16 different wave tables in that set actually have the sequential name spelled out in little bit of pieces, and it just sweeps between them. But with that same sound, you know. You know, I could go all over with it. Change filters. Put on some filter drive. A little distortion. Fast, easy, fun, and you can go many different directions, like a sound like this. Another sweeping wavetable. Uh, it's three-part uh, paraphonic, so we could play three notes. Gated sequences are always fun. The sequencer can go forward, backwards, forward and backwards, or random, which is kind of fun to play with. And you can hear the ratchet you could program real easily in the sequencer. Uh, or you can go something, again, very soft and... Or again, you could, with the same sound, this, uh, we have four sequences, 16 steps each, and this one uses all four of them together for 64 notes. So. That low 
note is actually tuned feedback, it's not an oscillator. idea we could do this for hours it's so easy it's so direct everything is fast everything sounds good it's you can't lose we love it sounded sounds great came out better than we thought it's a cool synth check it out